Hey, 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 guys. This is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4, and I'm just finishing up doing a little bit of trolling. It's starting to get a little bit late, so I'm thinking about coming in and doing a little bit of feeder fishing, because it's getting really cold, and hopefully we can get some decent-sized bourbon. But while we're going, going in, I'm just going to Kind of see if we can't get one more thing before we make the final track back. Whoa, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's on my corona. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be tough. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. Corona's like the first level of these spin rods, guys, so this is this is gonna be tough. There's been a few times that they've spooled me on this. I've tried chasing it, but it doesn't always work. But I'm going to just sit here and try to fight this guy. Maybe I can get him in with this little rod and reel. Oh wow, he is really taking it. Oh, he's, okay, he's swimming towards me now. If I could just keep him within that distance. Alright guys, we're in for the long haul here. I might put a pause here. Unless I get closer. Well guys, I think he gave up the ghost. Granted, it took me five minutes. <laughs> about an hour and a half or two hours in game time, but... He has given up the ghost. I'm curious to see what I caught with this little rod and reel. Alright, what are you? Arctic char. 1.4 kilograms. 1,116 XP. Not bad. Not for this little rod. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'll go ahead and keep him. I don't think that he will give a whole lot of, of cash, but I'm going to at least get a picture of it. Because I think catching anything that big on this little rod is pretty cool. Pretty cool. But it's getting dark, guys. It's, well, actually it's after midnight, isn't it? It's a lot longer than I fought him a lot longer than I thought. Alright, we are back up here at the camp. And I'm going to go out here and set things up for setting a feeder rod. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and cash in these fish that I caught while trolling. Yeah didn't get as much as I thought I would. It's not bad, but it's not great either. <laughs> oh well. I just don't want them going bad. Alright, let's go ahead over here. Get everything set up. Now, I have found this to be as good of a spot as Dulakaba Kachi has said especially for spin casting so I think I'm going to put a couple of feeder rods out I'm going to so go ahead and still put out the palmer here I'm going to go ahead and still do some spin casting even though it's night because they seem to still bite at night too but I'm going to use my my heavy rod this time not my corona okay I've got my light on before I do anything I think I'm going to put my little light down that way we'll have a little more light to see by yeah flashlight offers a little bit of light but not really enough all right I think I'm just gonna probably go ahead with the fish 
I was hoping I had something else to use. But I think I'm going to stick with a number two hook. Oh, it took. Okay. I didn't think it clicked over. Sometimes it doesn't do that. There's the fish. I'm going to be so glad when I finally can make my own fish. Just kind of look at here to see if there's anything else I might try, but I don't know. I don't think they're going to go for anything but this or night crawlers. I've only caught a burbot off of a lure once back at the Whiting Rivulet. Every other time I've caught them, I've caught them off these feeder rods with fish or night crawlers. But one of the things you got to do when you cast this is you got to throw it and don't click the thing right away. You know, don't close the bale because the line will keep coming out. And when it hits bottom, it'll jingle like that. Because there's a couple of good sized holes out there. All right, we're going to try this a little bit. Go ahead and put my red hypnotic on there. We'll see if we can attract something. Yeah, I caught a pretty decent sized char doing this, and it was at night, which was pretty amazing. I wouldn't have thought they could see it, but... Uh -oh. Looks like we've got a little bit of activity over here. That didn't take long. Yep, I think we got us some burbot action. He's not a monster by any means, but burbot, they bring in a lot of cash. That's why I like to fish for him, because I'm getting seriously low in cash. 796, not too bad. For two kilograms. All right, let's let it drop, hit bottom, click the bale, let her down. Uh, it didn't ding. All right. Okay, everything's set up. I'm going to go ahead and go back to doing a little more spin casting. It's starting to get light, so that'll increase my chances even more. Yeah, I like to set, set it off to the side a little bit so I can see the tip bend a little bit. Oh, shoot! Wow! Oh! Goodness, goodness, goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I got... Take it easy. Hey, you really got to play with the tension. You really got to play with the tension on this. I kind of let them take it early on. Let them wear themselves out. Because if there's too much tension, they will definitely run for it. It scares them. Oh, wow. This has got to be a pike. I've caught the char, and they don't fight that hard. Okay, he's swimming towards me now. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm not going to try to go any higher than 24 on that... He's pulling pretty hard. Okay, he's coming in. I think he's just swimming towards me, though. He might make another bolt for it here. Come on. Let me get you in a little bit. 
Okay, he's realized I'm pulling him in now. <laughs> he's like, heck no, you're not bringing me in. I am going to fight you. It is on, people. Alright, it's been a while, but he is coming in. And as cor of course, the way things go, something's now biting on my other one. <laughs> That's just the way things go. Oh wow, he is pretty decent size. Alright, let me get my net out here and see if I can't get him, because I don't think I can lift him up. 340. Almost two and a half kilograms. That's not bad, really. Alright, this one is... This fish is serious. Holy crap. Okay, I haven't caught one that's fought this hard. Oh my goodness, people. I think he's big. I think he is a big old fella. This is like trying to pull in a catfish. Yeah, I'm going to have to really spend some time with this. Come on, big fella. Come on, big fella. Gosh, I can't seem to get him to swim towards me. Come on. Okay, okay, he's coming. Little bits at a time. Yeah, this is just like catching a catfish. I don't think they're catfish in here. It has to be a burbot something else that I don't know of. Alright, he is finally moving now. I really am, I really want to see what this guy is. He is still fighting me. No, he is a bourbon, alright. He's got to be big. I'm going to need my net for this guy. Holy crikeys! 7.3 kilograms, 2,838 XP. That's the biggest burbot I've caught. That is my record burbot right there so far. Yep, he's a big old sucker. I'm sure they come a lot bigger than that, but for me, at level 16, <laughs> he is a monstrosity. Get a picture of him. Pretty little guy, isn't he? Actually, he's not little at all. <laughs> all right. Now that's what I'm talking about, people. That is what I'm talking about. And I am completely worn out. <laughs> Look at my energy level. Jeez. He wore my butt out. I need to eat a little something too. Get me a little coffee, get a little cheese, and try to get my energy up before I try this again. Jeez. Yeah, I think I just wanted to get up into the green if I can. Before I cast it out. Yeah, it took about every bit of energy that I had. There it goes. Alright, hit bottom. There we go. Okay, we're good, we're good. And we're back to waiting. <laughs> I'll probably do some more spin casting. 
just like to give it a minute here just to see if anything it's still really cold so I'm not gonna quit but I do want to seriously see how well this fish did cash wise but I'm gonna check the cafe here ah, of course no burbot I always want to check the cafe before I sell my fish off. Oh crap, not bad. Not bad at all. Actually, all of them did pretty good. Wow, it's the most I've gotten for any fish. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, looks like we got us yet another one here, guys. Uh, whoops, I think I got the wrong one. I hate when I do that. <laughs> you hit the wrong button. I keep hitting the wrong button this button there we go get just to get just get too excited <laughs> okay he's he's not too bad guys he isn't like that last one but he's not bad Come on, big fella. Good God, how much line did he take out? <laughs> okay. Here he comes. Yeah, get that net out. Damn! 1,655, another decent size one. Almost, almost 4.3 kilograms. Damn. Yeah, when it gets cold, you go burbot fishing. That's just all there is to it, guys. That is the time to fish the burbot. All right, let's toss her out and we'll see if we can't catch something else. Yep, there we go again. They're keeping me hopping. I love it. I'm loving this. Alright, he's not as big, but... Hey, burbot's a burbot, and burbot mean cash. Come on. Eight eighty nine, not too bad, not too shabby. 